out walking. Got my hat, protect my hair, glasses, protect my eyes, arm gaiters, protect my arms from the sun, sunscreen, protect my skin. That's, it's becoming, that's what I do. Um, after I fold up my bed, I've been getting things like all situated in my minivan. Then <clears throat> my throat in the morning. There must be something that's causing like this, kind of like this phlegm here. Um, anyways, <laughs> basically, um, I've been getting dressed and then just putting sun lotion on right away. Just right away. Just get it over with. So, still walking. Got here a little bit later. Checking this one area out. Today it's going to be 103. No big whoop. <laughs> I can deal with it, yeah. I remember watching a video about, I think it was that one Bob Wells, that Bob Wells was in. It was a documentary, it was called Without Bounds, and it was about nomad life. And I remember, I think it was that one, I remember there was this couple, young couple, and they were going to start their life, but before they did, they turned off all their air conditioning and their heaters and everything so they could get used to natural, the natural climate. They could acclimate their body to it. I think it was mainly they were acclimating their body for the heat because they probably were going to be in the southwest. That's where most of your... Um, that's where most of your BLM land is. I, when I was in Ohio, there was no BLM land. It was all, if you wanted to stay overnight, it was all pay. You had to pay for campgrounds and things like that. There were state parks, federal parks, but you couldn't spend the night there unless you paid. So they've got some uh, workout equipment over here at the park and it's still wrapped up. It's still got caution tape all over it, even though the gyms are open. Yeah, it doesn't, I don't know, it doesn't make sense. But I'm not in charge, so I can't make the rules. But if I did, oh yeah. Um, <clears throat> I, at the mall yesterday, I took video, of course you can't take pictures, I don't want to get kicked out of the mall, so I'm going to be good yeah i can be good <laughs> um i get like a spy camera and walk around but i did take pictures of all the things that are in the middle aisle that were uh taped up the soda machines are still taped up <clears throat> and of course all the children's equipment you know like the little cars that they ride on it just goes back and forth <clears throat> but i thought it was interesting that you know, the claw machines that goes down and it grabs um, the stuffed animals, put a quarter in or whatever. That was open. What else? Oh, those massage chairs. I don't like those. It feels like, have you ever been on one of those massage chairs? These things come up. As they said on Seinfeld, it felt like aliens were poking at my body. <laughs> I would do it like, ah. Um, do you remember that Seinfeld uh, episode? <laughs> it, oh, didn't you like it? No, it felt like aliens were poking at my body. So here we go. Yeah, it's still uh, caution taped off. And it's a night, you know, a lot of people did use this. So, but now I did look and Planet Fitness in 
or the, well, I looked a day and a half ago. Maybe it's open now. In Flagstaff and Prescott, um, Planet Fitness is still closed. It says, it says temporarily closed. So, yeah, it wouldn't be worth it. If, if they did open and they were open for a while, I might go up to Flagstaff. Cooler. But I'm dealing with this down here, so it's no big deal. I slept good last night. Even though it was uh, it was hot, I uh, I sprayed down my bed. I sprayed down my body. I had the fan blowing right on me. I have it like in front of my feet, so it blows right across my whole body. How we doing here on the lighting? I'm walking around. So yeah, here's some people exercising. Yeah, yeah. People are still using. This. I don't think a lot of people know that. Um, Planet Fitness is even open. I went in there, they said, I went in on Tuesday. And I said, how long have you been open? They said, since Friday. I'm like, well, why didn't you email us to let us know? And they said, well, we did, we did email you. And I said, no, you didn't, because I would have got it. I checked my email. I have like four or five, six different emails now. Um, yeah, I would have uh, checked it, I would have seen it. But they said, yeah, everybody else said they didn't get it either. Well, gee, I wonder why, because they didn't email us. But, uh, <clears throat> but I don't think a lot of people know they're open, which is kind of nice right now because it's not as full. They've got every other machine, so there's some machines that are, you could, there's only one of that type. So if it really starts getting busy, oof, going to be waiting a while to use um, the machines that I really like the best. Found the good spot again. <laughs> yeah. Got my purple. It's good to have for the sun, I mean when it's really hot and it's just beating <clears throat> it's just beating down. I wanna protect somebody that's well, I don't get it. What are those for? I mean, if you're not gonna cover everything up. The reason um, for that person or the couple people that asked, this gets too much sun day after day, year after year, decade after decade. So if you're young, protect this area cause, and your hands because they're always in the sun. They're going to always be in the sun. Today, <laughs> um, I turned on the radio coming here and couldn't find anything good, so I put it on classical. I do like classical. Um, not all, but I do like it. When I was in Cincinnati, um, my granddaughter, she was about four at the time, I remember, and I told her that, um, oh, classical music makes you smart. She's like, really? Um, I read an article that because of classical music, the way it's the way it's composed in the and the um, the different notes and the different instruments um that it takes a different um it takes different brain power <clears throat> i'll put it in layman's terms i don't know all the advanced terms but it makes the brain work harder so that more dendrites are built and more sparks are going and more connections so time after time, I said, it's good to let your children and your babies listen to classical. Okay. So I told her about that. And so I used to take her places. Um, I still had um, I back row seat, a second row seat I took just for her because I knew I would take her places. So, so you can put her car seat in there. So um, we were driving some player and place and we were finding music. I go, oh, what kind of music do you want to listen to? And I go, oh, I know. I go, let's play classical. Let's get smarter. And she said back there. So we were listening to it. And then, so I, I just kind of uh, look back and I go, so do you feel smart? She goes, no. She goes, I feel sad. <laughs> it was a kind of a classical that was, um, kind of slow and <laughs> funny. I just, 
it, I, um, I thought of that today. It really tickled me. And it kind of clicked into a memory. Um, kids say uh, the funniest things. She really meant it to. The music was making her sad. <laughs> um, yeah, she does like to dance, and she does like, um, she kind of likes the same music I do. I had one song going, and I put it on a playlist. It's called uh, Let's, uh, Let's Go, and it's sort of electronic music. And she, looked, she goes, where did you find that song? She goes, I love that song. Me and my friend, we danced to that when we were at his house. <laughs> and I'm going, well, we all kind of like it, you know. <laughs> it was like she owned that song. She's so cute. Uh, yeah, when I see her again, is she'll be um, seven. It's like missing two years. So, well, let's get walking again. I'm going to do my laundry after I do my floor exercises on the grass. I'm going to go do laundry. And uh, then I'm going to wash my van. I'll take you with me. Let's go. <laughs> I wish I could play the song for you, but... I would get a copyright infringement. Ooh, that was a really beautiful hog. Oh. Uh -huh. Two hogs. Two hogs playing. Oh, how cute. social life in my minivan without a caravan and without boondocking out with other people. How do I have a social life? You know, who do I talk to during the day? What do I do to have interaction with other human, other human beings? How do I get interaction with other human beings? Well, it does happen. And I know some of you nomads, when I mentioned when I was out boondocking in Prescott, there were a couple of nomads who contacted me and said, you might like to be around a bunch of people, but I would go way out. I wouldn't. So having a human interaction isn't important for everybody, obviously. I mean, you need it every once in a while, but on a daily basis, you don't. I like to see people. I like to talk to them. It doesn't have to be every day, but... Okay, so how do I do it? Well, first of all, you interact with me on my YouTube channel. And you email me. You leave comments and you email me. And so there's um, contact. I mean, it is contact. And you make me feel that um, I'm alive and I'm important and I'm loved. So thank you. And I like to write back and I like to respond back to make you feel loved and important and um, recognize that, yes, you are alive too. And thank you. I always fuss with my hat. I can see it in the, in the uh, camera. And it looks, this keeps going down. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. I've always messed with my hat. I've got a high bun here, so it's kind of holding it. There we go. Back to social interaction. When I'm at the park, I'm here quite a bit. And there's other parks that I go to, too, that I'm there quite a bit. And the workers, they know me. We wave at each other. It's like... And I've talked to a few of them, too. I mean, I've had conversations with them about the park and what's going on and asking questions. I get interaction that way. When I'm walking around, people wave at me. There's a regular walkers in all the parks that I visit. And I try to pick different ones on different days. And, and uh, I mean, wave. 
and then I mean I uh, I leave audio uh, messages for my daughter every day and she leaves them for me not every day but we do um, leave messages uh, and my children uh, my son I talk to often because I'm I park near him and my other daughter we leave messages we text each other and um, I text Joanne hi Joanne um, a lot more of you are emailing me, so um, this morning I already answered a few of the emails and to say, hey, thank you. When I'm at Planet Fitness, now that I'm back at Planet Fitness, I always talk to everybody. In fact, one of the gals I remembered um, from the Planet Fitness, um, <clears throat> <it> was a <clears throat> at the Planet Fitness, it was the first one that I joined. And she's still there. I mean, we yeah, last night we talked a little bit. Um, after my shower we chit-chatted so I actually sometimes I feel more social being out and about than I did uh, when I had my house so I was at my house I was kind of like content to be in my house <clears throat> yeah um, and I'm out and about and I watch people more I mean I feel like I'm part of a community if I was out boondocking I'd be part of a community too out there because when I was at Plumosa, oh my gosh, I was always walking around because, you know, I love to walk. And I'd walk around and I'd stop and talk to everybody. I'm just social and I make sure that I get social interaction. And then if I'm in isolation, then it's just something that I probably want for the moment. And I get isolated for a couple of days, but then I go out and I search out um, to have a conversation with people. So it can happen. A lot of people are using Zoom right now. And actually, a lot of people have been in isolation because of this thing. thing, And uh, you know, learning what it is like to be in isolation. So I think that people are, when they finally do realize that there was no martial law in the first place and that they can actually come out of their house, a lot of people really didn't want to come out. I, uh, a lot of people, I know somebody that didn't want to come out of her house at all. She, I think, because I, I told her, a I said, you know, there is no martial law. You can leave. She goes, oh, you know, well, I know we're supposed to. <laughs> so she didn't get out. Uh, and I was out every day. <laughs> and most of the people that I saw in all the parks I go to, they were out every day, too. So, um, I don't think we were being bad because we weren't, we were out. We were just, you got to get out. You got to get, um, you know, fresh air and you have to walk, get exercise. So in the end, we probably didn't put on as much weight and we stayed healthier. Our immune systems were stronger, things like that. So I just wanted to mention, some of you might think, oh my gosh, you know, you're so isolated in your minivan. Uh, not really. I think I'm actually less isolated because I'm out and about and I see people. I feel more connected. I feel connected to nature too. If you're not in nature, I believe that maybe that might actually make you feel um, isolated from the globe, the planet, the world and everything that's, that God created. So. I'm out and about in it, and I feel pretty connected, so I just wanted to mention that. Me and my friend Lou, Lou Murphy, the most famous, well, of all time, I'm not sure, but over the past um, few decades, he's the most famous uh, mayor. Pinch his ear, oh, little kitty. <laughs> hey, so, um, What's your favorite song? Probably for all time. Mine is Everybody Wants to Rule the World. I, that is the one song that I can play over and over. And I never get tired of it. Um, I love it. I love the drums. I love the guitar riff in the middle. I just think it's a really good melody song. And some people say, well, that's what the best, they'll say the best song of the 80s, what was it? And uh, 
uh, they mentioned like yes um, owner of a lonely heart which is a really good song and people mentioned it but for me it's um, everybody wants to rule the world so and so what is your favorite genre of music mine is electronic music I really do like it I like anything that you it's got a good upbeat and I can dance to so sort of like on um, remember American Bandstand I give it a nine for uh, that you can dance to it and it, <laughs> yeah that was one of the categories can you dance to it um, I do remember American Bandstand oh I used to watch it a lot um, probably one of my first crushes was uh, the Everly Brothers <laughs> I thought they were cute oh yeah I saw a, a documentary of the Bee Gees and it go it's really good it's almost two hours long and it goes from when they were small and they were singing together but they said the earliest influence for them in doing harmony were the Everly Brothers I, I really did um, I liked them I thought they were so cute um, yeah. so yeah American Bandstand so let me know in the comments uh, what uh, what type of music you like and I can't really play anything um, you know this copy written on here um, way in the beginning I used to sing a lot um, I'll have to start singing again I can sing myself on um, my birthdays next Tuesday don't don't send me anything uh, nobody even you Joanne don't send me anything I tried to find out um, which post office that I can uh, do general delivery here while I'm here in Tucson and it's just an 800 number and I've tried the number you know press 3 press 2 you know I just can't seem to talk to anybody and I've heard, I've read that only certain um, post offices send general delivery so literally I'd have to drive around and ask and I'd have to stay in the line no that's not up to me and I don't really need anything so you can just well wish me a happy birthday but um, I can sing happy birthday to me on next Tuesday I'll do that so <laughs> I can sing again and it's it's not copywritten so I can sing it all I want I should sing it every day I'm sure at some point um, it's somebody's birthday it's probably somebody's birthday today too so Lou, gotta go finish my walk, and um, I'd like to come over and say hi to him. Cute. <laughs> All right, subscribe, leave me a thumbs up, watch all the way through, it really helps me out. Um, love you guys. Mwah.